Hi, what is up YouTube? Today we are taking a look at two devices that are very crucial to my DIY projects. The first one is this Drock 60V 8A 480W DC power supply which is about 8 by 4 by 2 inches in size and can be powered by 110 volts or 220 volts AC depending on your region. And the second one is this Drock voltage regulator slash boost converter that takes in 8 to 60 volt DC and can boost that all the way up to 120 volts DC which is very nice. So we're gonna start by unboxing both devices. As you can see simple packaging, the user manual, logs, and a fuse. And here is the device itself. As you can see, vents everywhere to allow it to cool properly. You have two knobs to adjust the voltage and the current. So the first four connections are for your DC output, and the last three are for your AC input along with a connector for the fuse. To the right you have vents also for cooling and a switch to select your voltage 110 volts or 220 volts AC. As you can see very simple design with a lot of vents for cooling. A cooling fan to the top along with two displays for your voltage and current. You have a decent user manual as you can see here. A simple knobs to adjust your voltage and current. In case you want to see what's on the inside and your electrical components very simple for what it does for 8 amps there is very little stuff in here Alright, so next step we're gonna go ahead and unbox the boost converter. Similar packaging, your user manual as usual. And then the device itself. As you can see it comes with this modular display that you can attach to the main board. Four buttons, three LEDs for the status. A heat sink to the center, a fan for cooling two terminals, one input and one output, along with a 20 amps fuse right by the fan. Fan very easy to swap out. So the modular display can be easily connected to the main board as you can see. Very 
nice this one is kind of exposed so i'm gonna have to design a 3d print and enclosure for it as you can see simple design and i added a lot of vents to allow it to cool down along with two covers i'm going to let the heat sink exposed so i can easily check the temperature Here is the enclosure 3D printing, came out nicely, and then the covers also came out nicely. fits perfectly the cutout for the screen and the buttons matches perfectly and you can still use the same buttons and the fit with no problems. Alright, so let's go ahead and put these two devices to test. Alright, so I have the power supply connected to AC power. And I have the voltage turned all the way down and now I'm going to go ahead and crank it up and I'm going to see at what volt it's uh, able to turn on the boost converter. Alright, so at around 8.5 volts it's able to turn on the boost converter so that's the minimum voltage to power the boost converter. This power supply can go all the way up to 60 volts, which is also the maximum voltage uh, that the boost converter supports. And as you can see, it goes all the way up to 60 volts. 62.1 to be correct. This knob is used to control the current. All right, so uh, the AC input is uh, this right here, but I have to reroute the wire all the way to the back. As you can see here, this way I only have the DC output right here. And this is a boost converter only. It's not capable of stepping down the voltage. So here I'm inputting 62 volts. So it can only output 62 volts or more. The set button right here to toggle between the current and the voltage and as you can see I have the voltage set to 54 volts and you can decrease the voltage using the second button or you can increase the voltage using the third button as you can see now let's go ahead and try to step it down let me show you that it's impossible to step down the voltage so we're inputting 62 volts we set it at 54 volts and we can toggle back to current and it's set to 2 amps this unit is advertised at 15 amps output I don't know how true that is I'm gonna have to run test on it and you can do the same you can increase the output current goes all the way to 15 amps you can set it to 15 let's step it down why well, not this is just for a test and now we're going to use a fourth button or ok to set the output and as you can see you have three leds to the right of the screen the first led is the 
constant voltage the second one is constant current which is off meaning that the current is not constant yet and the third one is the output it's not able to output the lower voltage that we set it to so we have 61.9 it's outputting 61.6 because it's not able to step down the voltage that we input it which is 54 volts on the boost converter 61.6 on the multimeter so it's a very accurate reading all right so now with the same input voltage we're going to go ahead and step it up to the maximum output voltage this can boost it all the way up to 120 volts dc all right and as you can see we have 120 volt dc output so and set again to we'll change the current and it doesn't matter at this point there is no load so you can go ahead and press ok and as you can see we have 117.5 volts on the output so let's go ahead and check that with the multimeter So we have 118.2 here and on the multimeter 118.3.3. Alright, so that's a very accurate reading as you can see. This is a very versatile combination. This power supply can go up to 8 amps which is very nice. And if you can get 62 volts output here and 120 volts over there you can basically charge uh, any battery at least most of the batteries 10s battery a 12s battery 13s battery and i can charge them all with this same uh, setup right here all right so here i have a lithium ion battery pack made of uh, 21700 lithium ion battery cells and this is a 13s 4p battery pack so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to charge also made this adapter so I can connect it to the output so since this is a 13s battery pack we just have to set the output to match the fully charged battery pack voltage so when each cell is fully charged it's going to be 4.2 volts so we're going to input 4.2 and we'll multiply that by the number of s's which is 13 and as you can see it's uh, 54.6 volts so we have to set the output to 54.6 volts so we have 62 volts here since this cannot step down the voltage we're going to have to step this one down let's set it to something lower so we can test the step up capability of the boost converter we're gonna connect the output and then we're gonna set this back to 54.6 volts fifty four point six volts set again we want to change the current it's now at almost nine amps which is too much I'm gonna step that down to two amps for slow and safe charging press ok And as you can see, we have 54.6 volts. But since we want to test the boost capability, we want to go ahead and change our input voltage and see how it's going to affect the output. So I'm stepping this down. Let's go down to 10 volts.
all right so now the input voltage is 10 volts and we still outputting 54.6 it's uh, 54.6 volts all right and as we connected it you can see that the current is fluctuating on the power supply we are drawing 7 amps from the power supply the fan is running this one is still cool so the fan is still not running but as you can see we have 54.07 We can also make it cycle the voltage and the current by pressing the OK button. And as you can see, we have 1 amp, 54 volts. Or we can press and hold to cycle between the two, as you can see. And from the three LEDs, now constant voltage LED is off and now the constant current is now on the second LED meaning that the current is constant and the third LED means that the output is on so it's getting slightly warmer this is why I designed the enclosure this way so I can still check the temperature from the touch so we have 108 degrees Fahrenheit that is uh, about 42 degrees Celsius not too hot and let's just check on the fats itself the fats are cooler At 35 the smaller one is at 40 and the heat sink is at 42 so we have pretty good heat conductivity right here so I can go ahead and connect to the Bluetooth module on the BMS of the battery and we are connecting and we are connected and as you can see we have the breakdown on the amount of current the battery is being charged now it is trigger charging at less than 1 amp the power is 35 watts battery is already at 100 percent it's about to stop and as you can see we have the breakdown on each cell 13 s battery have all type of information regarding the battery I can even stop the charge right here so this was my review of the drug 60 volts DC power supply and the drug voltage regulator slash boost converter for 120 volts DC if you have any questions leave a comment I will also have a link to the 3d files of the enclosure in the description so stay creative and I will see you on my next video.